Hi, I'm Jack from Skin Kitchen Tattoo in Des Moines, Iowa, and the people have spoken, and they went against me. Yes, actually, the people's vote, they chose the medieval uh, back piece, uh, which is great. Uh, he is a super, super great client of mine. I've been tattooing him for years. Um, he's got sleeves we've done, and now the back piece, and things like that. So, and uh, and his wife is a is a great client as well. So, uh, congratulations to you, my friend. You uh, get your choice of anything that we offer on our uh, online store on the website. So, get on there, do some shopping, let us know what you want, and we will get it on the way for you. Uh, congrats to everyone who was nominated. It was a lot of fun seeing uh, what you guys picked and uh you know what uh, what you liked and uh, what you didn't like as much so uh, thank you so much for being involved in it and we will see you all soon Tattoo Creeps and Tattoo Creep Land, it's Jack Lowe from Skin Kitchen Tattoo once again with a tattoo for you to check out. It's time it's a tree. Well, it's not a real tree, it's a tattoo of a tree. But it's on uh, this uh, lovely lady's back. She wanted something to kind of help kind of fill in and tie in her back a bit. She's got uh, a little owl there and stuff like that. And um, so I just uh, freehanded this tree on um, with some markers and uh, went to town. She brought in kind of a reference, uh, which I really like, you know, helps me get into your head a little bit when you can bring me something that, you know, sort of at least in some way resembles what you want. That helps me kind of lock in and get a little bit more exactly what you're after. But anyway, that's what she did. And um, this is just one setting. Uh, I believe it took, I think, uh, five hours, a little less than five hours. Uh, I love doing this kind of stuff, uh, having fun with all the little gnarled, uh, fun, naughty stuff in the, uh, no, not naughty naughty. Anyway, uh, it's really fun to do that. Um, I, it's kind of fun getting lost in that stuff and imagine how the light would hit it and little highlights and stuff. So anyway, had a blast. Uh, we're going to do some clouds and some more stuff in the background eventually. Um, and I look forward to that. So I hope you enjoyed looking at it. Uh, come in and see us. It's the new year and we are just kicking it off with a bang here. Uh, I think I still got uh, some time in February maybe. Uh, here and there. Uh, so if you're wanting to get in for spring, now is the time to start thinking. So send us those emails. Let us know what you're uh, what you're after, and we will make your dreams come true. All right. See you next week. Bye. Wow, did I miss you guys. It feels like I haven't talked to you forever. It is time for Tattoo of the Week. I missed last week because uh, the snowstorm, you know, uh, ish, right? I mean, if you lived in Iowa for any amount of time, you know, that wasn't like that bad, but I live down south, and uh, it's a long drive, so I wanted to live. So anyway, I missed out on the last week. I know that's you didn't watch it because you're like, oh, Jack's not even there. And, but you, I'm glad you're watching this one, so I'm back. Anyway, this is a tattoo I did on a guy. I think I did it in four settings. I did the angel thing, and then we did the clock or the watch or compass. What is it? 
It's a round thing. Anyway, it's in there. Four sittings. The last one, we did the rays up above the, the angel there, wrapped in the American flag. Um, yeah, free-handed, or not free-handed, but drew up her, and then, um, yeah, and the dove and all that, and uh, voila! There you go. So, um, yeah, so all together, it probably took three, six, nine hours, 10, 12, took a while, I don't know. If you're that concerned, come and watch it happen, and then you can, then you'll know. I have to watch these videos. Although that would suck, because then we'd have nothing to do in the morning as we're trying to get ready for work. No. Anyway, all right. Well, I hope you had fun looking at it, and uh, I hope to see you next week, bar any snowstorms. And don't forget to check our merch store. It's so rules. And uh, you can find that out at skidkitchen.com. See you next week. Hello, Tattoo Creeps. It's that time once again for Tattoo of the Week. And this is one I did on a gentleman. Uh, it was a single sitting piece. It was just a lot of fun uh, to do. Yeah, we based it uh, off of a design that he found and I just kind of cleaned it up and redrew it just a bit to kind of fit and all that. And just took my own liberties uh, with the shading and all. And I, yeah, it was just uh, it was a fun one to do. Um, I think like a cool background would be Maybe like some stands and some heads up there, or maybe an old fence and stuff. But, uh, you know, maybe that'll be down the road, so keep your eye out. Um, I think it took me around uh, da, 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 three hours or so, I think. Maybe two and a half or so, something like that. But uh, anyway, I thought you guys would have fun looking at it, because I had a lot of fun doing it. So, uh, yeah, things are getting kicked off here. Uh, it's getting to be about that time when uh, we get really flooded with appointments and such. So if you're wanting to spend some or all of that Uncle Sam refund check, let us know. Try to get in uh, as soon as you can, and we will get you all super fancy looking for summertime. All right, guys, take care, be nice to each other, and we will see you next week. Hello, Tattoo Creeps. It's that time once again to peruse a tattoo. This one is on uh, the, the right there. The stump, the, the, not really ribs, not really stomach, abdomen. I guess, if you use words. Anyway, uh, yeah, this is an idea he brought in and uh, I redrew it a bit and uh, kind of made it fit and fidged and, and fuddled with it a bit and uh, knocked it out in one sitting. I've done tons of tattoos on this cat. I've been tattooing him for years and years. He's um, once we get the other side filled in, a little nooks and crannies, he's pretty much, I think it'll be his full upper body's done. So anyway, uh, it went really well, it was really fun, he sits like a rock, and uh, I think it took around five, five, five and a half hours, I think, uh, straight sitting. So anyway, I uh, hope you guys had fun looking at it, it's, uh, that was a super fun one to do, as most of the things I do are. So anyway, I hope you had fun looking at it. Uh, make sure to uh, spend any money you have laying around on our merch store if it's not going to be tattoos because there's a lot of good stuff. I actually just ordered, I think, three things last night myself. So that's good. So anyway, uh, I hope you uh, had fun looking at this episode, and we will see you on the next one. Be nice to each other. Hello, I am Jack from Skin Kitchen. Here with a tattoo for you to peruse. This one is a sleeve, as we call it in the industry. You knew that. Anyways, um, this took, I think I was counting it up, I think five sittings, which is pretty cool for uh, a big arm like this. Uh, he had the dog up top, and one of the first sittings we did, we kind of made it into kind of, uh, I had the feeling of it kind of being like a war poster kind of thing, because he's in the he was in the Marines, so he wanted to keep that, and wanted to work it in with this uh, Ameri Americana sleeve. So um, I thought that would be kind of a neat, um, easy, clean way to get it in there. So anyway, we did kind of a creepy Uncle Sam in there. Um, it was kind of fun. And uh, then we uh, went on down, we did the eagle with the flag kind of rolling and wrapping around his lower arm. And then that comes up, uh, up into his inner arm with the uh, Lady Liberty, with the uh, We the People behind there. And that was in the last sitting that we did. So that's probably why it looks a little off color in the photos that you may be looking at. It's just the nature of the beast. Anyway, um, was a super uh, easy guy to work with. He just kind of, um, you know, gave me these kind of just loose ideas and wanted me to put it together the best uh, I could. And that's the way it works really, uh, it tends to work out the best. So uh, 
uh, I really, uh, what can I say about it? It was just a lot of fun. About five sittings. I think that his sittings were four hours a piece. So, yeah, you know, do the math. Uh, but anyway, I was really happy the way it came out. I hope you guys like it. If you want something, if you like it and you want to get a sleeve of your own, I know a good place called Skin Kitchen Tattoo. So uh, shop at skinkitchen.com is our email. So send us an email and tell us what you want and we'll make you... Hello, Tattoo World! It's Jack from Skin Kitchen once again with a tattoo for you. Uh, this one uh, was a lot, of, a, lot of, a lot of fun, as they all are typically, if you're nice. Anyway, uh, he came in, he had this little tattoo in the middle of his, his big old leg, and uh, he wanted to add some flavor. So uh, he had an idea of maybe doing a flag kind of slashing through there. So uh, we mixed our brains up and we came up with this. Um, I was really happy with it. It was a one sitter quitter. I think it was doo -doo 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 -doo, four hours or something, five hours. Whew, I don't know. It's been busy. It's hard to remember, and I just did that thing a week ago. So anyway, uh, yeah, pretty straightforward. You see what you get. Nice tattered up flag there to give it a little motion and kind of add on to the Molon Lab uh, design that he had there to begin with. So uh, he was happy. I was happy. I hope to see him in the future because, uh, as you can see, he's got untattooed skin, and we can't have that. So anyway, uh, I hope you guys are uh, as, as chumping at the bit as I am for that weather, uh, hold in there. This is the weather that keeps out the riffraff. This is, this is the weather that keeps Iowa so awesome. Trust me. At least that's what I tell myself. Anyway, uh, have a good week, and we'll see you on the next one. Bye-bye. You guys just missed, like, the best uh, weekly thing I've ever done. I screwed it up. Davo didn't record the audio. So instead of going back and me trying to overdub, which would kind of be fun, we should do that. <laughs> anyway, this is a tattoo I did. Um, took about five, six hours. Uh, it's got, you know, the cross in there and some clappers and uh, the angel. Uh, just a one-sitter quitter. Yeah, um, I think it was the guy's first tattoo. Sat really well. Um, yeah, he just brought me in kind of uh, some ideas with a rough sketch and uh, voila. What we ended up with. So if uh, if you are kind of in a similar situation where you've kind of got some things you know you want but you're not quite sure how to put it together or if it could be put together, that's what we do. Bring it to us and uh, we'll let you know. We can come up with something pretty awesome, I'm sure. Uh, best way to do it, email the shop, shop at skinkitchen.com. Uh, tell us your ideas. We'll find you some time. We'll bring you in and we'll make something awesome. All right, guys. Uh, until next week, be nice to each other and we'll see you next time. Hey, Tattoo Creeps in Tattoo Creepy Land. This is Jack from Skin Kitchen Tattoo. Running late today, so I'm taping in the car. I'm, uh, I'm uh, multitasking, as they say, and drinking my coffee. So, drinking coffee, driving, doing uh, the weekly. Not texting, though, so I think I'm within the boundaries of the law. Anyway, uh, got a sleeve for you today. I finished uh, recently. I've been working on this guy pretty much since I opened the new location after the big fire in uh, 17. So just, yeah, beginning 18, started tattooing him. Um, not only on his arm, he's got a couple other big pieces I did on him, but um, anyway, uh, the last one I did were the skulls on the inner bicep there. But uh, it's really uh, mostly, I think, really, yeah, the whole sleeve is just about his family uh, and all that. So uh, different things in there represent, uh, you know, different people in his family and things like that. Uh, tons of fun to do. Um, he's a real easy, fun guy to work with. Um, nice guy and all. So that really makes it a lot more fun uh, than it even could have been. So anyway, I hope you had fun looking at it. Uh, he's planning on work, uh, starting on the other arm here pretty soon, so hopefully I'll have some updates of that to show you. So anyway, guys, I hope you're having a wonderful day. Have a great week, and we'll see you on the next one. All right, you creepy tattoo suckers out in sucker tattoo land. It's Jack once again with a tattoo for you to look at. Uh, this one I thought might be fun for you guys to see. Um, because maybe some of you are out there with some travel, and you're like, man, I want to do something, but uh, what do I do with the travel? Well, you could possibly do something like this. Um, uh, it's not done. We're still working on stuff. We're going to go around the inside and fill that in too. But this was after the last setting. Uh, the stuff, the water and below is all healed. The stuff from above the water is uh, stuff we just finished the other day. 
So, uh, yeah, uh, I think we work on them, I think, uh, gosh, I think we only worked on them two hours last time, but we got a lot done. But anyway, he's had a couple settings in there. He's probably got a couple more. And, uh, yeah, it's just a lot of fun kind of uh, making a little world back there behind the, the uh, tribal. So anyway, I hope you had fun looking at it. Uh, things are getting really kicked off here. Uh, remember, it's me and I got three other dudes here. So um, it's like a, one of those real tattoo shops or something. Anyway, uh, keep them busy. Uh, bug them. Shoot us an email. Shop at SkinKitchen.com. Let us know what you're after. Uh, we can even get walk-ins in a lot of the time. So uh, we maybe, you know, maybe we should bring back walk-in Sundays. Hmm. Let me know what you think about walk-in Sundays. Uh, that was uh, a lot of people liked that. So let me know in the comments what you think about walking Sundays. Maybe we'll bring it back. Anyway, I hope you guys had fun looking at this stuff and we will see you next week. Be nice to each other. Hello, tattoo fans. It's Jack from Skin Kitchen once again with a tattoo of the week for you to look at. This was a kind of an add-on to a portrait I did a couple, I don't know, maybe a couple months ago, I guess, by now. And uh, we added some Hawaiian style kind of flowers to uh, frame this, uh, this piece in. So yeah, I just uh, kind of found some uh, pretty ones that I, uh, uh, that I thought would look really nice, arranged them in a way, and voila, here you go. Um, it was one setting for the flowers. I went in a little bit and touched up some little tiny stuff uh, here and there in the portrait uh, area. That's why there's some little spots there that look fresh. But anyway, for the most part, all the uh, portrait area is done and the flowers are the new part. Uh, went really well, took go uh, four hours maybe something like that uh i think so uh and i think we're calling that one uh done he he wanted to put a little splash of color there in the flowers he's he's it's kind of become his thing so i don't know we'll see if it continues on down the road uh with his other tattoos i've been tattooing this guy for a while so anyway uh, i hope you like looking at it remember our store remember to click like and ring bells and all that crazy stuff and uh, get a hold of us if you want something fancy. All right, I hope you have a good week and we'll see you next time. Hello, Skin Kitchen fans. It's Jack Lowe from Skin Kitchen Tattoo. It's been a while since I've showed you a tattoo. Some crazy things have been going on. So uh, put a little dent in my uh, regularly scheduled program. But here we are with a new one for you. Uh, this is uh, on the inside of an arm. It's kind of uh, a supporting actor to what's on the front of his arm. We've got this kind of dark looking angelic demon kind of dude standing there with these dark wings and these chains kind of coming off him and he's got a staff and uh so this is kind of what's going on behind him it's a mausoleum and kind of a graveyard scene going on some smoky bits and some dead trees and stuff uh we're not quite done with it there's still some tucking in to do and still some uh work to do on the the front part of it it's actually a cover-up uh, so we're going to go back into there and kind of do some fidgeting around to uh, clean it up. But I thought it was coming along well enough for you guys to maybe take a look and see what you thought. Uh, we are open for booking now, so uh, give us a call or give us an email um, and talk to one of the girls and they'll uh, get you set up and get the ball rolling for you. Um, let's see. Other than that, uh, we're here just rocking and rolling. So I hope everybody's feeling well, doing well, getting back to work. And uh, we hope to see you soon. What up, Tattoo Creeps and Tattoo Land? It's Jack from Skin Kitchen Tattoo once again with a tattoo for you. It's, a, it's armor. It's not real armor. As I stated previously, uh, it's a tattoo of armor. Um, I tattooed it on him, so he has it now. Anyways, uh, we worked on this four or so times, three four times. Uh, there's kind of a cover-up. Uh, inclusion thing going on. He had a tattoo here, kind of middle of his arm, and we incorporated it like it might be on the armor. And there's little Easter eggs kind of on the armor. Uh, other pictures kind of embossed into the armor that represent his family and things like that. Just finished it up the other day. Um, started it earlier in the year sometime. I don't know. It's just so many tattoos. Which is a good thing. Anyways, I uh, was happy with it. Really uh, kind of turned out neat. It was just all um, a lot of freehand, some um, stenciling and stuff like that. And all came together pretty good. Hope you like looking at it. Uh, remember, subscribe so we feel loved and all that stupid crap. And uh, come see us. Call us. Uh, smoke signal. Carrier pigeons are fun. Uh, whatever you need to do, let us know what you want so we can stick it in you. Ha 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 ha!
Anyway, I uh, hope you guys are doing good and you don't have the flu. And if you do, you'll probably get better. There's a 99.99999% chance you're going to be fine. Unless you're already supposed to be dead. Anyway, see you next week. Hey there, tattoo boys and girls. It's that time once again to look at a tattoo I did. It's an angel this time. Um, it's kind of uh, taken after a statue. She's got some cracks going on. Been through some... Some tough times, you know, like we all have lately. Anyways, uh, it was a lot of fun. I think it uh, took five hours, maybe? It was a one sitter quitter. Uh, we're going to continue on the inside with a demon-esque looking thing to kind of balance out the good. Can't have all good, or there would be no good at all. It was in a book, not that I read. Anyways, um, I hope you guys are doing well. And um, remember, you've probably forgotten that there's a disease that's going to kill everyone. So um, be very careful. If, if, if not, other people that are upset kill you first. I don't know. It's a crazy world. 2020 for the win. <sighs> Anyways, uh, I hope you had fun looking at this. Um, we're taking appointments, and we've got, there's four of us here, so we're rocking with Dokken and uh, pretty much any other metal band that's, that's pretty good. And uh, so uh, hit us up with uh, an email, shop at skinkitchen.com, 515-255-4430 is our number, has been for 22 or something freaking years. So you should know it by now. If you don't, there it is. All right, well, have fun. Um, get out there and get a sunburn uh, and then wait till the sunburn's gone and then come in and get a tattoo. See you next time. Hey there, tattoo fans. It's time to look at one of my tattoos I done did. This one is a back piece. Um, he came to me, he had the cross and he had the wings and he had the uh, lettering at the bottom. So what we did, I put kind of a big banner around the bottom to kind of uh, frame that in a bit. And then um, brought the gates, like Heaven's Gates up behind the cross. Had some rays coming out to create some motion. Um, I've got some angels kind of floating up there, uh, doing their thing, you know. Um, hanging out, welcoming all the dead people to the... It's got to be boring up there, right? I mean, just being good all the time? I don't know, man. Anyway, uh, I think it turned out okay. It, uh, I think it was four sittings. We did the banner, and then we kind of outlined stuff, and then we did the shading on the left side. Yeah, I think four, uh, probably five hours or so a piece, something like that. So around 20 hours, I'm guessing, in it. But anyway, uh, it was a lot of fun. Um, I just uh, I freehanded some. I uh, stenciled some other stuff, drew up the angels and all that stuff. So it was a lot of fun kind of sprucing up something they already had. Hopefully we'll end up going into the wings too and kind of brightening those up and everything else. But uh, yeah, hope you had fun looking at it. If you've got a tattoo that's kind of getting old and moldy and you want to spruce it up, you want to add to it, you want to bring it on down the arm or across the back, uh, let, let us know. We love doing that stuff. Uh, give us a call, 515-255-4430. It's been that same number for like 24, three years or something. It's a good one. Anyways, uh, I hope you guys are having great fun with all the great weather we're getting lately and uh, not getting sunburned. But uh, we'll see you next week. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and call your mom. See you next time. Hey, you crazy kids in tattoo land. It's that time once again to look at a tattoo I done did. This one took two settings. I believe the first setting was like an all day setting, I think. It was uh, seven hours. Is that right? I don't know, man. Things have just been really busy and having a lot of fun. But anyway, yeah, it was two sittings. Uh, the last sitting uh, took us just a few hours. Uh, I did all the skulls and the Lakers hat the first sitting, and then did all the color in the hats on the second sitting. So yeah, uh, he did really great. It was really fun to work with. Uh, he just kind of picked the teams, and uh, and I picked the placement. And uh, yeah, I think it turned out really cool. It was a lot of fun. Skulls are always fun. You can always have fun with skulls. So, uh, gee, let's see. Um, you know, one thing I wanted to, 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 to tell you guys is our YouTube channel is freaking kicking butt. It's got over 15,000 subscribers. We got tons of uh, content on there and we're having a lot of fun there. We just recorded some new Q&A uh, that should be coming at you before too long. 
So yeah, check that out. Um, it's really neat, and there's a really good treasure trove of information on there too that uh, it's awesome to look at if you have any questions. But anyway, I hope you guys are uh, having fun and uh, staying away from uh, all the creepy crawlies out there and enjoying the weather. Hope to see you soon in the shop to get something fancy and dancy. Be nice to each other and see you next time. Hey you wacky kids in wacky tattoo land, it's Jack Lowe from Skin Kitchen Tattoo in Des Moines, Iowa with a tattoo for you to look at. Uh, this is a little guy, uh, nothing huge and grandiose, but they don't always have to be now, do they? Uh, this is a weeping willow. I've done weeping willows in the past, but this is the first one I kind of did in this uh, way, and it was a lot of fun. I did it all with a liner um, and to kind of get that little stipply effect to kind of leave looking kind of things and the little wispy... I tortured these trees as a kid, so it, it kind of brought back all these memories of me swinging like Tarzan on the vines and just torturing these poor trees to death. But uh, anyways, um, thought it turned out really nice. I think it only took around an hour or so, if I remember right. Um, had a lot of fun. Uh, the client was a lot of fun to tattoo. Hopefully she'll be back for some more. And uh, yeah, give us a call if you want something fancy and dancy. We specialize in both fancy and dancy tattoos. So anyway, subscribe, tell us you like us even if you don't. It's all about perception, okay? Never underestimate the power of lying to yourself. You love us. Anyways, hope you guys have a great week and we will see you next time.